Now I would like to start the new chapter that is algebraic expressions. Now in your earlier classes you are already familiar with the expressions like algebraic expressions such as 2x plus 3, 3x square and 4y square minus 7y plus 12. Now these algebraic expressions are useful in the formulating puzzles and problems. Now the expressions are the central concept of the branch of the mathematics that is algebra. Now in this chapter you will know, you will be able to find how the algebraic expressions are formed and how they can be combined and how we can find the value of the algebraic expressions and how they can be useful for us. Now let us see how the expressions are formed. So how are algebraic expressions formed. Now before going to start this first let us see what is a variable and what is a constant. Now first what is a variable? A variable can take any value from a given set. For example, the variables are denoted by the lower case letters x, y, z or l, m, n. So for example, if you take to find the area of a rectangle whose length is l meters and breadth is b meters. So here if l value is 10 meters and breadth is 4 meters then area of the rectangle a equals to l into b. But here l, l, l is always may not be 10 meters and here breadth also b always may not be 4 meters. Here l and b values can be changed means the values of the variables may be changed that is why so the variables are denoted by the lower case letters like x y z l m n r a b c then what is a constant a fixed value is known as a constant for example phi phi is fixed at any time at anywhere so it does not change and minus 2 by 3 so this is also a constant, it does not change. So the fixed values are known as constants and the variables means they can be changed, they do not have any fixed values. So usually we take the lowercase letters to represent the variables. Now let us see how the expressions are formed. Now let us take an expression 2x plus 3. How the expression 2x plus 3 is formed? To form the expression 2x plus 3, first we have taken a variable x, then it is multiplied by 2, then the constant 3 is added to the product. So by multiplying the variable x by 2, we got the product 2x. And we have used one operation, addition, and then the constant term 3 is added to the product 2x. So to combine two or more expressions, we use the operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now the another example, 5y minus 8, here the variable y is multiplied by 5, then from the product 8 is subtracted. So this is also an expression, so this is 8 is subtracted from the product of 5 and y. So we combine the variables and constants to form the expressions. So actually the algebraic expressions are formed by combining the variables and constants. Sometimes we combine the variable itself because for example if x square is there, this expression x square is obtained by multiplying x by x itself. So then we get the term x square. And the another expression 4y square is there. So this is also obtained by multiplying y by y and this product is again multiplied by the constant 4. So then we get 4 into y into y 4y square. Now let us see another example 3k square minus 4k plus 1. 
so this is also an expression obtained by three terms such as 3k square and minus 4k then plus 1 so the this expression is obtained by considering three terms with the variable k sometime an expression can contain two or more variables such as 3x plus 4y minus 8 so in this expression there are two variables like x and y so in the first term is obtained by multiplying 3 by x the second term is obtained by multiplying 4 by y then the constant term yet is subtracted from this sum so here the expressions are obtained by combining the variables and constants by the operations of addition and subtraction we have seen how the algebraic expressions are formed now let us see so what are the terms of an expression now let us consider an algebraic expression 3x plus 4 here what is the expression 3x plus 4 so in this first 3x is obtained by multiplying the variable x by 3 then 4 is added to the product of 3 and x so then we will consider another algebraic expression 4y square minus 7y plus 6 so in this alg algebraic expression so how this algebraic expression let, let us see once again so first 4y square is obtained by multiplying 4 by the product of y by y itself so first you will multiply y by y to this product you will multiply again by 4 so then this expression is formed then how we got my 7y so this minus 7 is multiplied by the product by the variable y then the third expression this is 6 now these three are the parts of the expression which are formed separately first and then added each other so these parts of the expression are called the terms of the expression now if we consider the first algebraic expression here also so 3x and 4 so these are the parts of the expression which are formed separately first and then added to each other so these parts of the expression are called terms of the algebraic expression so even in the second algebraic expression also 4y square and minus 7y then 6 so these are the parts of the expression which are formed separately first then added to each other so these parts of the expression are called terms of the algebraic expression so of course here minus 7xy is there but here also minus 7xy is added to the first expression because for example 3x plus 3x minus 4y plus z is there so this is obtained by adding 3x so this minus 4y and z so if you add these three terms so 3x minus 4y and z so if you add these three terms together then we will get the algebraic expression 3x minus 4y plus z because you are plus into minus minus 4y so then the third term is z so you have 3x and minus 4y and z so these are the terms of the algebraic expression 3x minus 4y plus z so we get the algebraic expression by adding the terms together.